You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa alongside leaders and heads of delegations of Gulf countries participated in the extraordinary Gulf Summit held at the Al Safa Royal Palace in Mecca under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud. The leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC member states, issued a closing statement at its emergency summit in Mecca under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The GCC leaders lauded the leading role played by the custodian of the two holy mosques, as well as his call to hold this extraordinary summit and the Arab and Islamic summits in order to unite ranks to face the challenges facing the region and maintain security and stability. They reviewed the critical circumstances and serious challenges facing the region as a result of the recent attacks on the United Arab Emirates and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which represent a direct threat to peace and security in the region, the freedom of maritime navigation, international trade, and the stability of oil markets due to some countries' attempts to destabilize security and stability in the region, support terrorism and interference in the internal affairs of the countries of the region. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa alongside leaders and heads of delegations of Arab countries participated in the extraordinary Arab summit held at Al Safa Royal Palace in Mecca under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa delivered a speech at the Extraordinary Arab Summit held at al Safa Palace in Mecca. His Majesty extended sincere thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al-Saud, for his invitation and for hosting the Emergency Arab Summit to discuss the current situation in the region. He stated that the summit is being held within the context of the wise policy pursued by Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and aimed at preserving and strengthening the Arab national security based on consultations and coordination among Arab countries and keen on protecting their interests, unifying their positions and reinforcing their joint action. His Majesty the King noted that the summit aims at preserving and strengthening the Arab national security based on consultations and coordination among Arab countries as well as protecting their interests, unifying their positions and reinforcing their joint action. He pointed out that the recent successive developments have shown that the state sponsors of terrorism have become a major threat not only to security and stability in the region but also to global security as a whole in view of their persistence and violation of international treaties, laws and confidence would represent a challenge that is rejected by the international community. He stated that the entire world has followed the violations committed by terrorist groups supported by Iran, resulting in a serious threat to the security of the region and intended to endanger the safety of navigation and international energy corridors crossing the Arabian Gulf. His Majesty the King also stated that this has placed the region on the verge of dangerous tension and instability. Such irresponsible actions require a firm stance to put an end to these persistent violations. His Majesty affirmed unwavering support to and solidarity solidarity with Saudi Arabia and the UAE in all measures that protect their security and stability. He also reaffirmed that Bahrain stands with them against all desperate attempts targeting their interests and seeking to disrupt the process of development and prosperity in the two countries. He noted that they must continue to strengthen regional and international security in cooperation, coordination and joint action with allies and friends who share goals in order to maintain global security and stability so that we continue our common progress towards development. His Majesty pointed out that he looks forward to intensifying the efforts to activate the Arab role in order to reach a just and comprehensive solution to the Palestinian cause and the legitimate right of the Palestinians to establish their independent and sovereign state. He concluded by expressing steadfast confidence in the wisdom of the custodian of the two holy mosques, which leads this Arab and Islamic orientation that is clear in its message and decisive in its position and aspirations. The closing statement issued by the Arab Summit affirmed the solidarity of the Arab countries in the face of Iranian interventions, stressing the support of Arab countries to the resolutions of the previous Arab Summit on the Palestinian issue. The emergency Gulf and Arab summits, which were held in Mecca, rejected Iran's interventions and called for strengthening capabilities to deter Tehran. It stressed the Arab countries' condemnation of Iran's occupation of the three UAE islands, its interference in the affairs of Bahrain and support of terrorist groups in it. The Arab countries also condemned the launch of Iranian-made ballistic missiles from Yemen to Saudi Arabia. Iraq objected to the closing statement of the Arab Summit, which condemned Iran's aggression in the region, while Arab countries' leaders affirmed that the security of the Gulf countries is a fundamental pillar of the stability of the region. Representative Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal stated that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's keenness to head the Bahraini delegation at the two summits for the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the Arab countries and the 14th Islamic Summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation held in Holy Mecca. She praised the contents of His Majesty's speech during the Arab Summit and his vision of maintaining security, stability and countering terrorism and threats from the sponsors of terrorism, which poses a threat to global security in the light of its persistence and its violation of international treaties, laws and charters. She she affirmed the Representative Council's support and solidarity in its firm stance with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates in all that preserves their security and stability. She noted that His Majesty's call for strengthening cooperation and solidarity between the countries and their ties of brotherhood is based on solid foundations of trust and mutual respect and to achieve an integrated vision and comprehensive strategy that sustains Arab national security and strengthens its pillars in confronting the dangers and challenges surrounding our countries is necessary to contribute effectively in uniting positions and facing challenges. She she praised the pioneering role of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques in preserving the security and stability of the region, stressing that the convening of these summits underlines the Saudi efforts and ongoing initiatives in protecting security and ensuring stability. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, hailed the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa in the Extraordinary Arab Summit held in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. He affirmed the significance of His Majesty's speech, vision and belief in the importance of enhancing Arab cooperation and solidarity to face the dangers and challenges surrounding the countries of the region and threatening Arab national security, especially the threats and terrorist practices of the Iranian regime in the region. He praised the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al-Saud's hosting of the Gulf and Arab summits and the Islamic Summit in Mecca 
Jamaica in order to unite the Arab positions to face the challenges in order to safeguard the security and stability of the region and its people. He stressed the contents of the final statements of the Gulf and Arab summits to firmly face any interference in the internal affairs of the country of the region or threats seeking to undermine its security and stability. He pointed out that the speech of His Majesty the King conveyed the hopes and aspirations of the people of Bahrain and all Arab people towards the importance of establishing a just, comprehensive and lasting peace in the region.